The Hollywood strikes of 2023 have disrupted the usual rhythm of blockbuster releases, leaving the industry in an unusual state this year. Franchise tentpoles like Madame Webb and Argyle have failed to meet expectations. But amidst this uncertainty, smaller scale dramas, horror films and indie comedies have emerged as unexpected gems. With fewer major releases vying for attention, there's hope that some of these underdogs will captivate audiences and make a significant cultural impact. Get ready to embark on a journey through compelling storytelling, mesmerizing performances, and unforgettable visuals as we highlight the 10 best movies of 2024 so far. But before we go through these 10 movies, don't forget to subscribe this channel for more videos like this. So let's start our video with the 10th best movie of 2024, The First Omen. The First Omen achieves the rare feat of captivating audiences with its chilling narrative. Set in the early 1970s, the film follows Nell Tiger Free's character, a teacher uncovering sinister forces within a Catholic orphanage. Making her feature directorial debut, Akasha Stevenson pays homage to The Omen through methodical pacing and an ominous atmosphere. With stunning cinematography, the film emphasizes anticipation over jump scares, instilling fear in its audience. And the ninth best movie of 2024 so far is The People's Joker. Vera Drew's The People's Joker grabs attention for its unconventional take on Batman, originally set for a 2022 premiere, but delayed due to rights issues. Despite setbacks, the film hit theaters this year, presenting a unique, quasi-autobiographical narrative where Drew portrays both the Joker and Harley Quinn. With a micro-budget aesthetic and varied animation styles, it stands out from official DC productions, aiming to highlight overlooked stories in a compelling yet controversial manner. And the eighth best movie of 2024 is Abigail. Picture this, a ragtag team of wisecracking criminals find themselves trapped in a sinister mansion with their young kidnapped victim. Little do they know, she's not just any ordinary girl, she's a ruthless, immortal vampire. Despite the film's marketing spoiling the surprise, Abigail delivers wickedly fun horror comedy. While Universal's previous vampire ventures may have flopped, Abigail has the bite to sink its teeth into audiences. And the seventh best movie of 2024 is Civil War. Civil War is said to be one of 2024's most divisive films. Starring Kirsten Dunst and Wagner Moura as journalists in a second American Civil War, the movie intentionally keeps the political backdrop vague, sparking controversy. Directed and written by Alex Garland, it's a gripping social sci-fi thriller that offers a detached look at a war-torn USA reminiscent of Hollywood's portrayal of conflicts abroad. This approach raises ethical questions about observing chaos without taking a stance. While the answers are debatable, one thing is clear. Civil war forces audiences to grapple with its complex narrative. And the sixth best movie of 2024 so far is Lisa Frankenstein. Lisa Frankenstein by Zelda Williams and Diablo Cody offers a whimsically dark twist reminiscent of Heather's, delivering a monster mashup straight from the 1980s. Catherine Newton shines as a high school misfit who unexpectedly finds romance with a reanimated corpse, hilariously portrayed by Cole Sprouse. Newton's portrayal of the endearing yet despicable Lisa steals the show as her teenage self-absorption evolves into supervillain antics with campy flair. For those craving raucous humour, Lisa Frankenstein is a must-see. And the fifth best movie of 2024 is Problemista. In Julio Torres' surreal urban fantasy, artistic expression collides with systems of power and wealth. Torres, writer and director, stars as a Salvadoran immigrant navigating New York City's art scene. His story intertwines with a wealthy art critic, played by Tilda Swinton, offering a stark contrast. Amid societal critiques, Torres injects youthful imagination, depicting modern America with whimsy and flair. And here comes the fourth best movie of 2024, Challenges. Luca Guadagnino, 
known for Call Me By Your Name and Bones and All, collaborates with Zendaya in Challenges, a romance, drama and tennis extravaganza. The film unveils a decade-long entanglement between two friends and a fiercely driven woman, crafting a captivating love triangle. With a standout score by Trent Reznor and Atticus Ross, Challenges promises a sensory feast, while its riveting tennis showdown makes it a must-watch for cinephiles and sports enthusiasts alike. And the third best movie of 2024 so far in our list is Monkey Man. In Monkey Man, Dev Patel delivers a powerhouse performance that showcases a whole new side of his talent. Surprising many with his action-packed role, Patel not only shines on screen, but also proves his directorial prowess in this visually stunning revenge thriller. With a commanding presence reminiscent of Keanu Reeves in John Wick, Patel's portrayal as a relentless ass-kicker feels authentic, especially considering his background as a Taekwondo champion. Beyond the adrenaline-fueled action, Monkey Man delves into pressing social issues, particularly addressing the rise of religious animosity in Indian politics, adding depth and relevance to the narrative. And our second best movie of 2024 is Dune Part 2. Frank Herbert's Dune has transitioned from a niche symbol of true fandom to a blockbuster film series that has won critical acclaim and multiple Oscars. In Dune Part 2, director Denis Villeneuve and his team continue to bring Herbert's epic novel to life while setting the stage for the trilogy's conclusion. Despite maintaining the dense pacing of its predecessor, the film shines with IMAX-worthy spectacle, especially in visually stunning sequences like the Battle on Arrakis. Dune Part 2 leaves a lasting impression on audiences, securing its spot in cinematic memory. And the last best movie of 2024 in our list is Love Lies Bleeding. In Love Lies Bleeding, directed by Rose Glass, Kristen Stewart and Katie O'Brien star as an unconventional couple whose passionate affair is threatened by a criminal conspiracy and their personal demons. Set in the stylish 80s, the film evokes a lurid pulp novel vibe with elements of David Cronenberg's body horror. While its unconventional conclusion and sporadic surreal moments may not resonate with everyone, love lies. Bleeding stands out as an erotically charged thriller that defies modern conventions. So, which is your most favourite movie of 2024 so far? Tell us in the comments section. And for more videos like this, don't forget to subscribe this channel.